So I suppose one of the um, assumptions of maternalism is that the child is, is known by the mother and the mother has privileged access to the child. And one of the things we're really interested in looking at is how the child can be a, um, an other, an unknown other for the, um, for the mother. And that both of them, in a sense, are involved in, in parallel projects which are in relationship but which are not determined by each other. So we talk about conceptual autonomy as being a fantasy, um, partly because you can't have the category um, or the, the term mother without child and vice versa. They kind of predicate not only sort of theoretically but in terms of our history, they always get folded into each other, ideas of best interests. But um, so we seek, so we're drawn into seeking for, for autonomy. So feminism was drawn into the project of thinking about women without thinking about motherhood. So women as workers or women in the public sphere, the idea that the, the child holds back what it's possible to be a woman. And likewise, childhood studies thinks about the child in you know, trying to get rid of the idea of, of, of the parent, uh, of the mother. But we argue that that's also a fantasy, that you can disentangle them. So that we always have to struggle with that relationship empirically um, and, can, and theoretically. We have to always think about how they are in relation to one another, yet are not determined or necessarily even really known by the other.